He copes with his condition by being open about it and can confide in his best mate. Nick, Nick, me and Lewis are on the same team and... Lewis, you won't, if I'd like to tell him something, he won't tell anyone. He's sort of more close to his bestest friend because he knows all about what I've got and he like won't tell anyone. It's kind of like freaky how like I have it because I've not, I've not like ever heard of it before. Sometimes when you like breathe by me, I can actually smell something weird, something fishy. So it could, it could, that's what it probably would actually be for shower day, it could be. Hey, what do you think it would be good if you brush your teeth when you had it? Like, if no, you have fish it, or something? No, because it, it cleans my teeth. If it was on my teeth, well, it mm. wouldn't clean my body. Really. I would have thought it would. Uh... Thomas recently had his first bad experience as a fish order sufferer. You um, started making your Easter card yet? That's cool. Some child said she wasn't sitting next to Tom because he, he smelt, basically. That did upset him because he's not aware of the smell himself. Vicky is concerned her son's condition is getting worse. She's taking him to the Children's Hospital in Birmingham to see Thomas's consultant. We've noticed it getting sort of worse, the odour. Is that going to happen as he gets older? And is there anything more we can do? to help him. And Thomas has his own question for the doctor. I want to ask the doctor, um, like, when will it go? Keep going. Dr Chris Heindricks is monitoring Thomas closely because he's so young. When do I win? You're nearly there. Look there, you're nearly there. I can start smelling him at the moment. Really? Yes, I can get the fishy smell more at the moment. Uh, sit away from him or her, and I think that becomes the social stigma. To be honest, last week, that was the first time I've really smelt it on his breath. It's always in his hair or on his body, but last week was the first time. That's why I thought, is it getting worse? Or Because we've only just noticed it on his breath. The kind of teenage years is classically the age when most of these patients are diagnosed. Yeah. So it's quite unusual to find somebody as young as Thomas, which most probably means he's got the disease in the more severe end of the yeah. spectrum. Tom, have you oh, got a question? Oh, yeah. When will it go? When will it go? Unfortunately, never. What we can do is we can deal with it, so we can make it better, and we can teach you ways of doing things that it's not as bad, but it won't go away ever, unfortunately. So we'll have to find a way to make sure it's not a big problem. <laughs>